Oh, hi everyone! Welcome back to Trust Me, I'm a Doctor. I'm your host, Dr. Sonali, and today is the fourth episode of our period series where I'm going to talk to you about period underwear. So I get a lot of questions in my office about this new product. I think it's probably one of the newest products we have on the market to deal with our periods. They are basically absorbent, reusable underwears that you can buy. A lot of times you can just go online and buy them, um, but they are coming into shops now. They are environmentally conscious and uh, reusable, you know? So when you use them, you're not just filling up a landfill. Most of the people that I speak to who have tried them, love them. And most of the people who haven't tried them yet have a lot of questions around like the ick factor about their use. I have an example here. This is a period underwear that was ordered off the internet. It isn't exactly the one I wanted to show you today. The ones that are newer are basically made out of fabric and really thin. One person that I spoke to who's tried it kind of, you know, compares it to wearing a bikini bottom. The cost of each pair is approximately $50. That might sound a little bit, you know, on the pricier end of things, but when you do the math of how much it costs to buy pads and tampons for each flow, you know, these things pay for themselves. They come in different sizes, of course, and in different absorbency levels. So, you know, if the period is a light flow day, then you might want to get the ones for the lighter flow, you know, or like the bikini cut. There's also some for the heavier days, and those are, you know, in kind of like a, a bigger cut or, you know, some other style. Styles. There's different colors as well and so I find that the companies out there they're making them very attractive and more and more they actually look and feel just like your normal underwear. I know that there's also a cotton line in one of the companies that I've looked into. So how does it work? So essentially if you have one pair you're probably going to want to use it for about six to eight hours before you wash it in cold water and then put it in your normal load. You can put it with your other clothes to wash, so you don't need to wash it separately. They say do not use fabric softener or bleach and just hang to dry it and then it's ready for its next use. So also it's good to know that you can use these on their own or you can use them as backup. So if you're using a tampon or the Diva Cup, you can actually just use this to like collect overflow. Um, which some women find, you know, they're more comfortable doing that. I say do whatever works for you. I would recommend getting more than one if you want to have the full experience of using these things because just having one means that you'll probably use it one time during your during your period week whereas if you have a few then you'll be able to use it you know daily um, so it's a bit of an investment but I definitely think it's worth it and what I really like about it is again for travel not everybody has regular periods not everybody knows when it's going to come so you don't want to be caught off guard in a place where you might not be getting the products that you're used to. So having, you know, period underwear tucked into your luggage is something that's super easy to travel with. And honestly, you could actually just wear it as a normal underwear as well. So it's also very useful. The most common questions I get from people who haven't used these underwears is one, what is the ick factor? So how does it actually feel to be sitting in underwear that has been, you know, collecting flow for the past couple of hours? And two, does it smell weird? The answer to the first question is, is it weird? Does it feel weird? Absolutely not. Actually, when the underwear is still in its absorbency phase, you don't feel a thing. It actually just pulls all the liquid away. And the second question, which is, you know, does it smell? No, it doesn't. Again, same thing as wearing a pad. It just kind of feels normal. You just go about your regular day and after, you know, six to eight hours, you probably want to change into something else. But really, it doesn't feel like you're sitting in a wet puddle all day and there is absolutely no smell. So if you're interested in trying one of these things, I say go for it. A lot of these companies sell their things online. So thank you for soaking up all that information. I hope you learned something today and I hope it was helpful. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe and I'll see you next month for another episode of Trust Me, I'm a Doctor. Take care.